here and we are in day 13 of our Barbarian Strong Challenge. So today is all about full body strength. Now every exercise will be 50 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. During those 10 seconds, I'll put a preview box above there so that way you know exactly what the next movement is, what weights to reach for, all that stuff. So I will be using a pair of 30 pound dumbbells and 15 and I do have a 10 off to the side just in case I need that. Um, remember to go heavy when you can though. This is all about challenging yourself as long as you can keep perfect form. Now, I think that's it. Oh yeah, and then we're gonna alternate between an exercise where we'll use weights and then a body weight movement. So it's gonna be an awesome burn today. All right, let's get warmed up. All right guys, let's go ahead and we're gonna warm it up by bouncing it out and then rotating those arms forward. Big rotations, keeping the core strong. Yes, getting it right. Let's go two more. Last one. And nice job, shaky, shaky. Roll out those shoulders. Mm, this is nice. <laughs> and 30 minutes later, all right guys, great workout. Let's go two more. Last one, and nice job. All right, so arms out to that T. We're gonna make those C's. C's. Really reach with those fingertips. Getting it. Nice and warm for those shoulders. Three, two, and one. And shake it out. Oh, excuse me. Let's go with some back lunges. So we're going to alternate those legs. Keep that back nice and flat. Core is strong. We are strong. Just remind yourself of that throughout this workout. Hey, I'm strong. I can do this. It's all good. And go ahead, shake it out. Let's go with some rotations. All the way around. Getting those hips nice and ready. Might feel a few crinkle crackles here. I don't know if you hear these hips. <laughs> They're loud. Let's go one more. And we're gonna come down to the ground. So a little bit of ground movement here. Come into that side side, and we're gonna have our left leg in front, right leg back, hands behind us, and go ahead and switch. So you wanna be able to drop both knees down to the ground. That's how wide your feet need to be. Nice job. Let's go one more. And from here, I'm gonna press up onto the knees, come back and switch. Press up, pushing the hips forward, but not too much because we don't want to like hyper extend the spine. We don't want it to curve too much. Otherwise, that's really not nice for our lower back. And we just want to be nice to ourselves. So all the way around and back. Let's go one more each side. Press. Last one. And press. All right. So. We're going to warm up the wrist now because we will be doing that ground movement today on body weight stuff. So fingertips are going to be facing out and we're going to go side to side. Now, the closer your hands are together, the more you're going to feel this stretch. So if you need to back them away from each other to be a little bit um, not as intense, then you can do that. And go ahead and sit back. We're going to do some wrist circles. Keep your elbows close together. I see a lot of this. That doesn't get as much rotation. And now we're going to flip it this way. So you're going to have the top of the hand down. And then make sure you're not billowing out like this. Try to straighten out the arms as we lean back. Very gentle. Putting as much pressure as you can without pain. This might feel awkward. And then go ahead a few wrist circles each way. Yes. La la la, this is where you feel like a magician. You're like, yes, ooh. <laughs> and go ahead, a few shakes here. All right, let's bring our right leg forward and to the sides. Go at different directions. Really seeing how your body is today while opening up the hips and warming them up. Let's go to the other side. When we warm up our hips like this and we get some nice mobility going, that way when we get into our workout, we can get deeper into the movement. And that way we can get more benefit from those exercises, which is really awesome. And go ahead, bring it back to center. All right. So back into a plank position. 
Press into down dog and bring it back into plank. Again, beating the shoulders. Should be warmer now than when we started though, so this should feel a little bit looser. Getting that core, getting those quads. Let's go two more. Last one. And look up at the hands, jump or stuff. Up and have a nice little bend in the knees. Slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Let your neck be the last thing to come up. Shaky, shaky, almost done. We're gonna finish out with some lateral movement. So, feet are gonna be out wide. Let's do some Cossack squats. So we're gonna lift up the ball of the foot, keeping this leg straight, and come up. I'm pushing my butt back on the other side, keeping my chest up, and up, and up. Keep it going. Let's go two more. Sink it back, last one. And go ahead, do what you gotta do, shaky, shaky, and let's get started. All right guys, 10 seconds, go ahead and see that preview. We have standing a triangle kick out. If you've never done this before, please keep an open mind and try this out with me. Rewind if you need to. Feet out wide, right hand down to the ground, right leg is gonna kick as the left foot pivots to the left. Come up and up. All the way, out and out. Again, if you can't do this yet, just go ahead and place your hand on the ground, drive your knee in, up and up. You're still using those shoulders, getting used to placing your own body weight on them. When I first did this, my hips were not as open as they are now, which is insane a lot. <laughs> um, but it really, really helps. Whew. So it's not only shoulders, but we're also getting core with the rotation, and we're getting nice hip mobility. And up. Whew. We're gonna go to those weights after this and up. Okay, so tricep press backs. I'm only gonna grab tens, okay? So from here, back is flat, feet close together, bend the knees slightly, hinge from the hips. Elbows up, kick it back. You don't need a ton of weight for this one. Get the squeeze at the top though. Think about hinging from that elbow and squeezing. Another thing you want to think about is making sure, okay, <laughs> making sure that you're not activating those traps. Oh baby, 15 seconds. Pop, finish it. Last 10, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, so this next one's super fun. Starting in the plank position, you know how we brought our foot to the outside of that hand? I think we did that in this warm up, I'm not sure. Tap, crunch, and grab back. Tap, crunch. You wanna lift up your hand? That'll be fun. Requires more stability then. And back. This one I learned from Lisa Marie from the workout when she was in body box. So shout out to her. Want to give credit. Keep going. Core. <laughs> this one's so fun. <sighs> Slow it down if you need to. You do not have to go as speedy as me. Okay, so narrow to wide rows are next. I'm gonna grab my 15s, elbows in right next to the body, and then you bring them out. Okay, let's go. Whew. A little slow. I just filmed our Imam workout. <sighs> so I'm feeling it, but I really want to get this challenge in before it gets to be like 20 degrees. <sighs> so some days you just got to push a little bit more and that's cool. 20 seconds. Neck is neutral. Make sure you're not looking at your shoes or up at your friend. <laughs> or at me anymore. Whew. Five, four, three, two, and 
done. Okay, reverse table reaches. This is really fun. So you kind of want to get a crab pose. So fingertips are going to be facing out to the side. Push your hips up and reach. Okay. So make sure really pushing those hips up. And up. You going, guys. I love calisthenics. That's body weight movement. It's just so cool how what our bodies are capable of. So, so cool. Up, back, up. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, she's feeling it. And up. Mm. Finish it. Oh. Cool. <laughs> All right, next up we have hammer curls. So, mm, typically I do the 30. I think I'm feeling the 15 right now. Okay. Whew. Every day is a little bit different. So, even though I instruct you to go heavy, make sure you do it as long as you can keep perfect form. Whew. Feeling a little bit more tired, so I feel like if I did the 30, I would lose my form. So we're really concentrating on getting that squeeze for the bicep and controlling that weight on the way down. Whew. Keep it up, guys. Yes. 15 seconds. Oh, yay. Up. Almost there, guys. Five, four, three. Two and done. Okay, beautiful. So we're gonna go into a side plank now. Mm. I'm sorry, starting off into a plank. Swooping under and then coming into a side plank. So swoop it, come up, star, switch. Swoop it, come up, star, and switch. If you can't do that, you don't have to do the star. The star is very, very challenging to lift your leg. You can always just come into a side plank. And back. Swoop it. Over. Up. <laughs> up. Up. And back. Keeping that core strong. Making sure we're not collapsing into the shoulders. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. That's mean <laughs> to our bodies. <sighs> okay, Whew. back to those weights. Back lunge, single arm curl. Whew. Your girl really wanted to get her biceps. Okay, so same leg. Back lunge, stabilize curl. You don't have to stabilize. You can play at your foot. So this part you can always just tap. That's totally okay. Feel like working my stability a bit more. And curl. That left glute and quad are really gonna feel that. You're welcome. <laughs> Tap, sink, up, curl. Whew. Three, two, one. Okay, crab walk before we go to the other side. So think about this as if you were going um, downhill, like a slippery hill. This will help you. Fingertips out to the side, opposite arm, opposite leg. So this is awesome because it's getting those triceps a lot. You know, remember, just because it doesn't say the word triceps in it doesn't mean it's not working. And if you want to go to the side, you can. It's really interesting to try to do that opposite arm, opposite leg, but it's also fun. Try it out. Just have fun with it. Especially if you're working out with like, a spouse, a friend, your crush, your puppy, whatever. Have fun with it. They're probably freaking out right now. Your friend, not your puppy. Just kidding. <laughs> This is why we warmed up those wrists. Three, two, 
One. Okay, so I hope you remember which leg you're on. I am going to lunge with my right leg, have the dumbbell on my left hand. All right. Let's do it. So, back lunge. Stabilize if you so choose to. One side might be more challenging. And up. Be strong. We're just really strong. It's pretty cool. Just remember how this is benefiting you. Strengthening those glutes. Strengthening those legs. So if you go out and exploring, you go uphill. It's not so hard. We're strengthening that balance, which is really, really important to do because it could save you from breaking a bone, twisting something because you catch your balance. Three, two, one. And then, of course, working those arms, really, really important because of all the shopping you might do. So you need to hold it. <laughs> okay, so this one is a build with the legs. So go out to the side. I didn't swear. That's not a swear word. The arch. They said that in, in a show. It was like a kid's show, I think. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, keep going, guys. Follow the foot. If you can't sink down this low, you can always just do a squat walk. Totally cool. Those quads are going to be burning. You're welcome. <laughs> Change your mindset, change your experience. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm goofy. Um, single leg deadlift, this time the other side. <laughs> like my little shaky shaky there. Okay, nice go. Okay, forward and back. Now the next move is pretty challenging. So, we're just gonna try our best and learn something new. And up. Oh. Guys, we are already halfway with our workout. So that's cool. <laughs> this next movement helps you to learn handstands quite a bit. It's what I'm doing to learn them. Three, two, one. 
two, and done. Okay, so frog stand reps. You want to dig those knees into the elbows, and then we're going to come forward and the reps. Okay, if you can hold it, do it. If you need to bring you, uh, yourself out like this, it's easier, okay? So you can always do that. I'm trying to learn the correct way. <laughs> it's not fun, like this is not comfortable, okay? It's not comfortable for my elbows, uh, my forearms, anything. Uh, it's not a lot, but. Whew. Keep going. There we go. As you get, as you do more, you'll probably get more comfortable. Uh, okay. Sick. But we do it. Okay, side lunge to front lunge. I'm gonna grab my 15s, same leg. So I'm gonna step over with my left, push my butt back, come forward, left leg comes forward. So you're working the same leg. Okay. Push your butt back. step. <laughs> Take your time, guys. Smiling helps me. I don't know about you guys, but it really helps me to enjoy this more. And so remember, this is awesome. We can move our bodies. You know, we're so freaking blessed to be able to move our bodies and to strengthen them the way that we do. Okay. Oh, tabletop opposite toe reach. Bring your hips up when you do this, okay? So when you do that, that's really getting the core. Pop it up. Bring those knees down, almost touching, and then pop your hips up. Hands under the shoulders. And reach. And reach. Now, keep going, guys. So we 
You know what's next. Okay. So I'm going to disappear for a second. You can probably see my butt. Okay. Hey, love. Not hello. Hey, love. Keep your feet together. It's going to work your core. Okay. That's where that bun comes in. <laughs> All the way around. Shoulders, core, all that fun stuff. Okay. We got it. We got it. Ten seconds. All the way. Whoops. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, long duck walks. If you can't do these, stick with the squat walk. If you can, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your leg forward and then drag a walk. Okay? And then the knee touches the ground. So I just call them long duck walks because I don't know what else to call them. But I do these in my practice. Or you can stick with regular duck walks. You can use your hands. Okay, so listen to your body. Make sure you're doing what's best for it. This is not available to everyone. <laughs> Hear all these like mat farting noises. Four, three, two, 
and done. Okay, so before we go to the other side, we're gonna come in a plank position with that body weight movement. We have stir the pot. Okay, so you're gonna act like stir the pot. Okay, it just makes you have to stabilize. You wanna to try to keep your hips as straight as possible. So if that means you separate your feet wider to do that, do it, it's worth it. All the way around. Core is strong. Hands under the shoulders. So by removing one of our limbs, <laughs> it makes it harder and more challenging for our core. All the way around. movements. Take your time. We're going to work on that lower back after this. And then finish out with one core move. Well, lower back is part of the core, so I guess two core moves. <laughs> Whoop. Three, two, and done. Okay. So I'm going to Keep this for later. Now for the Superman pull, keep your neck neutral. Make sure you're looking down. Okay? So I'm gonna lift, pull, extend, down. This is not comfortable. It doesn't need to be. Up, pull, back. Get a nice squeeze for your upper back when you pull back. And down. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> When I'm down on the ground, it's like, this is nice. Up, back, back down. Up. Keep going. Up. I'm mainly just convincing myself when I say that. Keep going. <laughs> just kidding. Up. Or am I? Okay, so bicycle, Russian twist, finishing our weights out, finishing this workout out, and then we're stretching. So I'm twisting to the side where my leg is straight. If you can't do this, just plant your feet. No big deal, okay? You can go side to side here. Keep twisting, eyes on that dumbbell, so you get the full twist. Remember not to engage your traps. We don't need to tighten that up. If you get dizzy, slow down. Slow down. Doesn't matter how many reps you get, or you can just look off to the side. Whew. This is it, guys. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Uh, Done. <laughs> We are stretching. Let's do this. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and we're going to stretch it out. So let's bring our right leg forward. Press into it. And you can pulse it out if you want to. You're going to feel that in that back hip flexor, that left side. And if you want to, you can bring your arm up. Add a little twist. So that way now I feel it really on my left side. And then bring it back to center. And then let's go ahead and we're going to switch sides. Press it into it. Oops. Feel free to add the up and over, a little twist. Bring it back to center. Let's 
straight back, big toes together, knees out wide, sitting back, walking the hands forward, relaxing that neck. Go ahead and bring it forward and gonna come into a plank position, pressing in a down dog, we're gonna cross that right ankle over the left, and then feel free to pulse it, just feel that in the calf. Let's go ahead and switch. Drop those legs over to the left. Look over the right. You can extend out that top leg if you want. And go ahead, bring it back to center. Over the other side. Extend out that leg if you have room. <laughs> and wait for it. There it is. <laughs> some side to side movement here. And slowly bring it back up. We're going to take that right leg, cross it over, hug it in with our left arm, and then go ahead and bring your right hand behind you, twist, look over that right shoulder. So you should feel this in the right glute. Switch sides. This side's a little bit stickier for me. Walk back to center. Woo. Okay, let's come into crisscross applesauce here. A few cat cows. So big inhale, open up that chest, pull through. Exhale, tuck the chin, the chest, round the back. Inhale through. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, bring it through. Exhale, tuck one more. Big inhale, bring it through. Me. And shake it out. All right, guys, we're going to head into our mini meditation to strengthen our minds after we strengthen our bodies. So I hope you stick around and join me. Uh, if you can't, please do like the video and comment down below. Um, yeah. All right, so go ahead and lay down if you want to, or you can stay with me in this crisscross applesauce. So you're going to have a nice tall spine. Close your eyes wherever you are. Hands on to the knees if you're with me. Big inhale. Exhale, relax that body. Relax that jaw, those eyes, the wrinkles in your forehead, if you're tense. Big inhale. Exhale. So we've gone through different body parts of saying our gratitudes to them. So now we're going to do a full body scan today to remind ourselves of the amazingness of this body that we are so blessed to have that took us through this workout almost finishing this entire challenge and just being here for us. So let's really take that time. Think about first the crown of your head. Think about that brain helps you to do everything. 
think, to react, to have your personality keep you alive, keep you unique. And our face, we're so unique. We can show our smiles to people and brighten up their day. Smell the fresh laundry here. Me, hello. <laughs> to our throats so we can sing, so we can talk with each other, breathe. Allow our food to come down to our hearts, keep us beating alive, even if sometimes they beat really fast and it feels uncomfortable, keeps us alive and well. To our arms and hands that let us hold our loved ones. To our hips that allow us to do rotational movements. To our legs that help us to run, to walk to our favorite places, through our favorite places. And our feet helps us to feel that grass on a nice summer day. So go ahead, take a few big inhales and exhales with me to really just send gratitude to this amazing body that we have. So big inhale. Thank you, body. Exhale. Big inhale. Exhale. One more big inhale. Exhale. Go ahead, slowly open your eyes. Clasp the hands in front. Pull the shoulders in. Big inhale. And that's it. We are done for today. Yay! Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you take that meditation with you. Maybe it has just even like when you wake up in the morning, you have a little time before you get out of bed to do that body scan and to really send gratitude to all the parts of your body because we're just really very much blessed to be able to move this way, to do what we do. And um, it really just helps us to respect ourselves more too because when we respect ourselves then we want to do this movement. We want to feed our bodies properly and respect it in that way. And a lot of the time in fitness, it's, it's backwards where they want it to be, oh, well, you should be eating this way and then you'll look better and then you'll love yourself. It's like, no, love yourself first and then everything else falls into place. So make sure you're working on your mental health and just really sending love and appreciation to your body and yourself, your unique, beautiful self. So, yeah. Yay! Okay, I'm going to talk close to the camera now. Okay, bye. We did it! You guys did it! We completed day 13 of our Barbarian Strong Challenge. So we only have one workout to go. I am so freaking jazzed. And I hope you guys are loving this. Let me know how this workout went for you. Let me know how your body is feeling. How's it feeling right now? Are you feeling strong? Are you feeling tired? Are you feeling a little bit of both? Me too. Uh, rather than that, did I already say like and comment? Please do that. That helps my video out a lot. I, it really, really does. YouTube sees it and they're like, algorithm boost, and I'm like, yay! And then subscribe. Subscribing is great because then we build an army of warriors and it's really cool, makes me happy. Uh, rather than that, yeah, I will see you for the last day. And if you want to support my channel, there's a link down in the description that says support my channel with purple hearts next to it. Okay. Rawr.